there's been some Black Friday shopping going on. But first, some general parts purchasing. They wrote the part right on here. ADS-1115, 10 of those small surface mount chips. For context, that's the size of the chip on a module. And that's the 16-bit I2C ADC with four analog inputs. I have a project in mind where I need to put four of these on one board to try to get 16 analog inputs, so we'll see how that goes. And in case these parts are somehow fake, I have enough of these modules that I know work. I can at least pull the parts off of these boards. And I was going through my mail queue, looking up tracking numbers for packages that had tracking numbers, and I think I'm going to need these right angle headers soon. A bunch of 40 pin right angle headers. I don't use them often, but the occasional project needs a right angle header like this one for the arcade rotary switch joystick where this gets plugged in with a 45 degree header and has a USB keyboard emulated output. So when you rotate one way or the other, you get one or the other keyboard key press so you can play emulated games. This version of the board was using an ATtiny85 and it uses the DigiSpark sort of emulation of USB, but it doesn't always work for everyone. So I'm trying to redesign this with an Atmega32U4 like on the Arduino Pro Micro because it will have built-in USB support and none of this janky stuff. So I needed the headers for a new prototype. Speaking of modules of the Arduino type, this is a couple of Pro Micros and four more of these ESP32C3 Super Mini modules to go with my growing collection of these modules. So we've seen the 32C3 Super Mini before. I've been using it recently, and I'm trying to migrate over to using that where possible when I need a small module. The Pro Micro upgraded to a USB-C connector. More importantly, it has this quad flat pack style at Mega32U4, if the writing is visible here. For the project where I'm going to use these right angle headers and I'm making a customized Pro Micro basically. When you look up the price of one of these chips, it's just as well to buy an entire Pro Micro and desolder the chip and just use that on my own circuit board. So I got a couple of these so that hopefully something will work. And I also wanted this version of the chip with these leads accessible for hand soldering because. The other regular Pro Micros I used to get have the different style package where the leads are not as exposed. So hopefully I can make use of this for my own circuit. And when assembling PCBs, we need surface mount parts. 0805 capacitor kit with all kinds of values in it. This would cover all of the standard as well as if I ever have circuits with op amps where I need an RC filter and I need an obscure capacitor value, I'll have something on hand. Likewise with resistors, 0805 kit with a bunch of common values. So 25 pieces of each. That will get me through for general purpose miscellaneous projects. And whenever I have a project that has a whole bunch of a common value, like 10k or something, I may order a separate package of a hundred of just those values. But I like keeping these assortment kits. And there's an example. I'm going to have a bunch of RC filters on a PCB using 10 nano. So I bought specifically a package of 100 0805 10 nanos for upcoming stuff. Then I was looking on Amazon. I had some things in my shopping cart as I always do. And I finally saw a good price on a handheld DeWalt 
vacuum. Some other stores had them for 149 which I think was also indicating they were on sale. I think they were saying the list price is more like $199, but I don't know if it was normally selling for $199. So it was on sale for $149, but it wasn't Black Friday yet. Then I saw it for $128, and I was still hesitating. Then I saw it for $122, and I finally got it. And it comes with this belt hook as well. So if you want to use this for dust collection on a saw, you can hang this on the belt so you don't have to use hands for this. Turn it on with the maybe flexible hose attached to a chop saw or something and use this to extract dust. So for me, generally, I wanted this around the shop, so I'm probably going to have this attachment on it most. And it's the tool only with no battery, but I do have a couple of DeWalt drills. And these are only the smaller capacity. This is 1.3 amp hours, but I'm not planning to run this for long periods. I just need to occasionally pick up something quickly. It sounds like it's powerful enough. A scrap of drywall for a test. Make sure there's no resistors. So I think that'll do fine. And I ordered a bunch of other Black Friday stuff on AliExpress, which will take some time to come in. In the meantime, I can now work on all these projects. Thanks to Patreon and channel supporters for helping make this possible.